then we're recording. Okay, shall we start? Mm -hmm. uh, well, good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for being here today. Uh, here today, we are going to have our Memorandum of Understanding signing event. This Memorandum of Understanding is between the Young Academy of Europe, um, particularly the board, who has the responsibility for the daily running of the Academy, and the Academia Europea Bergen Hub, who so kindly showed um, support and willingness to, to help with some of the administrative tasks that go with running uh, the Young Academy. But I'm not going to say any more. I think uh, the best thing we will do now will be to hand over to uh, the two representatives from the Young Academy and from the Bergen Hub today. And we will start with uh, Gemma Modinos, who's the current chair of the Young Academy of Europe. Gemma, do you want to say a few words about the Young Academy and why we're here today? Yes, absolutely. So good afternoon, everyone. Thank you, Scott, for organizing the meeting. Um, I'm Gemma Modinos. I'm the current chair of the Young Academy of Europe. And so in the next about five minutes, I'll give a short introduction of our organization. Um, so in terms of our history, we were established in 2012 as a pan-European initiative of outstanding young researchers for networking, science advice, scientific exchange, and science policy. There was a constitutive meeting in Brussels. You can see here in the top right photo. And we also established at that point a partnership with Academia Europea. And that's the photo at the lower right. And then we evolved. And in 2019, our organizational structure changed into a charity. So we are a registered charity in Germany. In terms of our mission, uh, the Young Academy of Europe focuses on, but is not limited to, the following main aims and activities, um, science policy and evidence-based policy, networking, science communication, interdisciplinary exchange, and equality, diversity, and inclusion. The Young Academy of Europe is governed by a board of 12 members representing the three domains, that's physical sciences and engineering, life sciences, and social sciences and humanities, uh, without any formal administrative support. And you can see here the photos of the members of the current board. In terms of our membership, we've had some nice growth over the recent years, and we currently have 180 fellows of the Young Academy of Europe, so they are FYAEs, and 109 alumni. So someone becomes alumni after seven years of being in the organization. Our members are early to mid-career researchers, young principal investigators with outspoken views about science and science policy. This is a, a collage of the current member photos in July, 2020. Um, and the membership is accepted on a rolling basis. Um, and the criteria is being within 12 years of receiving the PhD award, of course, with ex uh, extensions for parental leave or um, and any, any time taken off for, for example, uh, caring for someone. And uh, research leadership is a main criterion. So we are not an organization of young scholars in terms of PhD students or postdocs, but actually those who have recently started their own labs. And the membership also involves two referees from two different countries. And I thought I would list as well some of our major activities over the past year. We run two very successful um, starting grant, ERC starting grant mentoring events for researchers in year 13 and associated countries. And this is part of our widening participation focus. Uh, in 2020, the first one um, was about grant writing. So we had breakout rooms in which some of our fellows um, gave tips into how to, how to write a, an application that helped them be successful. And last year, we partnered up with the Academia Europea Budapest Hub, and our focus was on um, evaluation panels. So give people an insight of what's happening behind closed doors where these grants are being discussed. And we had, this is, for example, the mock evaluation panel for the life sciences. We've also been heavily involved in the research assessment reform. Um, so either through our membership of the Initiative for Science in Europe, and also uh, we're represented in the ISC board as member of the European Commission core group on writing this agreement towards the research assessment. 
Uh, we had a panel discussion at Academia Europea meeting, Building Bridges 2021, and we have board members as well involved in the um, national level. This year is our 10th anniversary of our organization. So monthly we're organizing these seminars where three of our members present their research uh, in, a, in an accessible way. Uh, and this is open, free, and available on YouTube afterwards. We also had a partnership with the Finnish Academy of Science and Letters, who organized a seminar on the roles of young scientists in science policy, and Scott was the driving force behind this. And we also, this is also to show the partnerships that we have with the different Academia Europea hubs, where, for example, with Cardiff, we have uh, organized this um, symposium online on Diamond Open Access. And finally, really one of the major um, uh, milestones of the, of the past couple of years is the establishment of the Young Academies for Scientific Advice structure. So we are um, national and um, pan-European and global Young Academies are full partners in SAPEA Plus. The Young Academy of Europe was elected as the YASAS legal entity and is also represented in the YASAS board. So this is a, a key step really for young scholars and their voices to be included, to be a part of um, science advice. And so um, from this meeting, we are very excited to establish this more formal partnership with the Academia Europea Bergen Hub and um, very much looking forward to the um, activities that we, will, that we will do together as well. So thank you very much. Thank you very much, Gemma. That was really nice to get an overview of things. And, and uh, some of that collaboration has already started. I know last week we had a, a really nice um, joint seminar with uh, a visiting uh, the ex-chair the ex of uh, Academia Europea uh, who visited us in Bergen. And so that was really nice to have a kind of a joint um, uh, event there. Um, Einstein, would you like to say something about the uh, Bergen Hub? Yes, uh, uh, thank you for this opportunity. And I do look forward to this collaboration because uh, what is more important than the careers of young scientists? So I'll share my screen. And then you see it? Okay. Um, I'll just get rid of this. Okay. So, um, uh, Academia Europea is the pan European uh, academy crossing all the disciplines and all European countries. Uh, but aside from being this pan European organization, it also has seven regional hubs which organizes activities which are topical but also regional in their extent. Uh, on behalf of the Academy, uh, in collaboration with other hubs or in collaboration with regional uh, academic or industry or public uh, uh, organizations. So we are set up in Bergen. There. Uh, so we are the regional branch uh, covering the Nordic countries and the Baltics. Uh, we are hosted by the University of Bergen, so the University of Bergen um, supports uh, the hub financially uh, with some uh, positions, but also some operating expenses, but also, also uh, localities uh, for meetings. And uh, I am a professor at the University of Bergen and then the academic director of our hub. Uh, we have a strategic plan uh, for the years that we are in now, which I, I would think in many ways overlaps with that of the Young Academy, but uh, with more regional focus. But it is to be on the science policy interface uh, promote and showcase excellent research and scholarship, um, visibility and engagement in our region, and cooperation with national academies in our region and the other um, hubs uh, of Academia Europea. 
we have an advisory board of uh, members of the um, academy uh, from uh, the Nordic countries and the Baltics. Um, they are seen here. We also have a, a member from uh, the Young Academy, Martin Ferner. Um, I'm not sure if he's still, uh, uh, if he's getting too old to be, but uh, otherwise we will need to have another one. But but it's very, very important for us to have in our advisory board a, a regional member from the Young Academy. Uh, we also have a local steering group that uh, helps uh, discuss uh, plans on a more local, uh, regional basis. Uh, these are partly members of the academy from, from uh, our university or our academic environment and other uh, academics. We have a very small administration. Uh, uh, both of them work half time uh, for the hub. It's uh, Kristin Bakken, who otherwise also works for the university's marine strategic area. And then uh, there's Ola, who is here, who is uh, a communications manager and a communications advisor. Uh, just one example of, of what we do. We are very active in the Arctic Frontiers Conference, the annual conference for, for the Arctic region. Uh, on policies and, and uh, research, which is held in, in Tromsø. And this is from a, an event we had on deep sea minerals uh, uh, exploration and challenges uh, uh, in May this year. Uh, and then I'll say a few things about our plans and tasks uh, for this and, and the next year, as far as we have outlined uh, by now. Uh, our hub aims to take part in SAPEA Plus, uh, not as, as a member, but uh, through the membership of Academia Europea, uh, uh, where the activities in SAPEA Plus on the science policy uh, interface is led by, by the Cardiff Hub. Uh, this deals with selection and nominations to evidence reports on the sustainability issues. And we'll also here have some emphasis on EU 13 and the European widening countries. And we foresee close collaboration with the other hubs, but also on the, uh, with uh, the Young Academy on this. Uh, and I was happy to take part in one of these, the mock panels uh, uh, for the ERC starting grant uh, exercise that the Young Academy organized. And then dissemination activities uh, after SAPIA plus reports have been finished. Uh, we are doing some administrative and technical support to the uh, uh, social sciences class of the Academia Europea. Uh, we have uh, some contacts now with the Estonian Academy of Sciences that we will wish to follow up. Uh, we took part in the, what is called the Rosnal Week, which is an annual week on the green transition uh, held regionally in, in, in this area. Uh, we have initiated a project called Project Arctic, uh, which deals with the future of science, po uh, science diplomacy in the Arctic. Uh, what will happen with this uh, after the Russian invasion of Ukraine? So we, so we are produce, planning to produce a, a report and, and a paper and also webinars on the future Arctic post the uh, Russian invasion. Uh, we will have a joint meeting with the Norwegian Academy of Science and Letters on the threat of threats to the ocean. And here you see the ocean and ocean affairs are, are very important for our hub, given its location. Um, more hub to hub collaboration. Uh, we will likely have some more uh, activities in the follow up of the task force on environment that Academia Europea uh, had uh, earlier this year and, and which now will be, be um, continued by 
the academy in a more permanent fashion. Um, we are planning a side event or a science event uh, on at the Arctic Frontiers Conference in February in Tromsø. And then, uh, as we are discussing now, administrative help for the Young Academy. Uh, we are also co-organizing with other organizations, uh, Horizon Series with, with, uh, with the scholars, international scholars giving talks on a very uh, broad and, and pub public oriented topic. And we have technology series together with the Norwegian uh, Academy of Technological Sciences. And then we have some other tentative plans, for instance, on climate policies. So these, this is as far as we've come, and these are our plans. But um, an important part of this is to uh, offer administrative assistance to the Young Academy uh, of Europe uh, on this occasion. Thank you. Thank you very much again, Einstein, for, uh, for this presentation, for giving us some insights into all of the activities, a very busy slide full of a lot of activities that the Bergen Hub is doing with uh, quite a limited resource in terms of, you know, two fifty percent staff and yourself working hard. So we really appreciate the help that uh, you can extend uh, to the Young Academy as well. Um, Next on our agenda then is to is to briefly read out the the wording of the memorandum of understanding. Uh, should we go ahead with that then, so that everyone's aware of what what we're signing, <laughs> what we're agreeing to today? Uh, if you like, I can read that read that out. I have the text in front of me. Okay, so this is the memorandum of understanding between the Young Academy of Europe and the Academia Europea Bergen Knowledge Hub. This memorandum of understanding formalizes an agreement between the Young Academy of Europe and the Academia Europea Bergen Knowledge Hub relative to administrative support for the YAE from the Bergen Hub. The YAE is an independent association with an established partnership with the Academia Europea since 2012. Examples of our interaction include YAE representation at AE board meetings and the joint organization of the annual conference Building Bridges. The YAE has its own administrative structures and procedures undertaken solely through the voluntary work of the YAE board. There is no paid administrative support for the YAE. Given the heavy time burden of this administrative work and ambitious plans to be more active in science policy and science for policy, the YAE board contacted the Bergen Hub to inquire into light administrative support from the paid staff there. That is the background to this memorandum of understanding. The purpose, the Bergen Hub expressed goodwill in fostering the relationship between Academia Europea and the Young Academy of Europe by providing administ administrative support to the YAE within the limits of their resources and the structures of the University of Bergen as host institution of the Bergen Hub. The role, responsibilities and resources. Administrative support is agreed to be provided on an intermittent and ad hoc basis where the Bergen Hub administrators are provided with sufficient time in advance to be able to fulfill required tasks and mainly includes the following tasks. One, assembly and distribution of the monthly YAE newsletter around an agreed date each month where the YAE communications chair is responsible for providing the Bergen Hub with the newsletter content. Two, periodic revisions, updates, and maintenance of the YAE website. Three, sending out quarterly reminders to the YAE members to pay their annual dues, where the YAE treasurer is responsible for supplying the Bergen Hub with a list of all YAE members and extracts from the YAE bank account with lists of unpaid members. And four, joint organization of YAE events that are of relevance to the Bergen Hub with the YAE activities chair, which can extend to advertising events, registering participants, and organizing and administering, administering online meeting platforms, for example. Term and termination. This memorandum of understanding applies from when it is signed until December 2025, when a new agreement will need to be signed for the hosting of the Bergen Hub and the University of Bergen. If the YAE or Bergen Hub wish to update the terms or adjust the provisions of this memorandum of understanding, a new MOU can be drafted and agreed to. That's what we have today. 
Uh, and like I said, uh, like I in intimated earlier, um, some of this collaboration has already started. So I'd like to ask you, Niels Olaf, to, to talk about some of that work that's already begun since June. And then we'll... Yes. Memorandum. Uh, well, uh, wh what I've been able to do is uh, to start with uh, the profiles of new members uh, to the website. Uh, so I've uh, I've had uh, instructions on this, and uh, I I did it. Yeah, it's a little, a little bit different structure to the to the WordPress uh, as uh, compared to what we do at uh, Academia Europea. But uh, uh, I've, it was quite easy to get the hang of it. So I've uh, I've been adding the last. Uh, uh profiles of new members uh, to the website so uh, so it seems like the website interface would be quite easy to get the hang of and uh, i understand that um, the newsletters uh is uh is a different uh, uh it's a, a bit different to what i'm used to but uh, I'm, I'm sure that as uh, soon as uh, the person responsible for newsletters with you have the time to uh, to to transfer to to give me the details on that will be up and running on that as well yes excellent yep thank you very much Nezola. that's really appreciated and like uh, i said we i think we're going to uh, very soon discuss uh, ways in which we can um set up the reminders uh, for unpaid members. And like I said earlier, yeah, last week, this was really nice to have uh, CEO de Kloting come to Bergen and for us to, to well, myself at least, to be present and, and be do that, participate in that event that the Bergen Hub organized. Yes, so things are happening. Then uh, the, the last thing on the agenda then is to, is to sign this memorandum of understanding. So, uh, Professor A. Stan Jensen, would you like to begin by signing on behalf of uh, the Bergen Hub, please? Yes, I I have a pen here, if you <laughs> see it, but now I'm signing. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. It's and, cu and current chair, Jim and Gemma Medinas, would you like to sign on behalf of the YAE, please? Yes, my pleasure. So I also have a pen. <laughs> and I'm doing the... Signature. Done. Perfect. And with that, this event is closed. Unless anyone wants to comment on anything else before we close. Otherwise, it was really, really fantastic that you could all find the time to, to join this. And I'm really, really excited about um, the collaboration between the YAE and the Bergen Hub in the future. And uh, I see lots of opportunities. So uh, fantastic that we could formalize this in an MOU today. Thanks, everyone. Absolutely, thank you.